How are you today? Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and this is the Hauer 1500. Did you see what I did there? Yeah, that's about as good as my jokes get, I'm afraid. So stay tuned, there's more. Yeah, I'll get my coat. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load. Like I said, this is the Hauer 1500. This is a Cerakoted one. This is in 223. I took it out for a spin and I've got to say I'm pretty impressed with it but this is not a specific review of this rifle this is just a bit of a video about how our rifles because a lot of people and I find this in being in the trade that they're almost sort of put off by Howers because of heartbeat down because usually you, you buy the action itself so you buy the the barreled action and then you can pick and choose and put all your bits and pieces together. And I think people kind of get a little bit scared of that. You know, they just want they just want to sort of pick something off the shelf that's good to go. But I just want to sort of basically tell you how good this system actually is. Now, I'm not going to throw out specs because there's that many different variants. It's just mind-boggling. So what I'll do is I'll put a still up right now and you can pause the video and look at that to your heart's content but i've got to say though i am very impressed now i have used howers over the years not really got around to doing a video on one and i don't know it just kind of reminded me you know what i really need to to give these rifles a bit of a shout out because they are really good very accurate they've got some of the little specs that are just you know just a couple of little specs uh, for example, they've got a three position safety, the hammer forge barrel, and they have like an M16 um, extractor, M16 style extractor, uh, which is quite strongly spring loaded. Um, and it offers, you know, unsurpassed reliability. And I've got a vouch for this rifle, which by the way is kindly on loan from Highland Outdoors. Very reliable, very accurate. A real joy to shoot just in case you're interested there is an element Titan 5 to 25 times 56 first focal plane riding on top yeah I know maybe a little bit big for this rifle uh, I could have kind of slimmed that down but uh, but I don't know it worked for me on the day now this rifle or these Hauer 1500s there is so much you can do with them but let me just tell you, I have sort of touched on a couple of the, the good features that you do get with these rifles. Another one is the trigger. They call it the hacked trigger. Uh, basically, it's creep free. It's match quality two stage. Uh, crisper, lighter trigger pull than uh, the old style ones. Now, this one does have it. So I'm just going to... I might give it a pull actually, I might do. Let's see how this goes. So it's got a nice two stage. I'm just reminding myself guys. No creep. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. That is quite nice. We'll give it a pull in a minute. But they've got real nice triggers on them. Uh, you can take the firing pin, uh, you can take the bolt out, you can strip out the, the firing pin, tool free. Real, real, quite, really quite simple. And they can, these are kind of like, a Remy 700. Um, you can just throw them in all sorts of different stocks. And this is what I wanted to sort of show you. Now, this one is in a rubberized Hogue stock. A lot of people like that. You know, it's simple, it's durable, it's weatherproof. It's going to take a lot of punishment. You know, nothing wrong with that at all. But I've just sort of picked one off the shelf just to show you. Uh, I've also got another really nice setup, uh, 1500 down here that I will pick up and show you in a minute. But this, for example, is the Oryx chassis. Now, this is just the, the chassis, okay? There's, uh, this one is brand new, straight out of the box. Um, it is not, in fact, I'm not, oh yeah, it is. I'll, I'll get it out and show, show it you in more detail. Now these are, a again, a real nice lightweight chassis, if you can get it out, and very durable. Now, let's get rid of the box. Throw the box down there, look at this, it's still got all the 
stuff on to hang it up in the shop. This stock is really nice. It offers, obviously, the pistol grip. It is chassis, okay? It's tough, it's durable, it's lightweight. You can take a magazine then, so you can basically convert your rifle, your, your Hauer 1500, to take a magazine. Different variants, again, are available. Obviously, you've got your mini actions, you've got your short actions, you've got your long actions, etc., etc. with the Hauers. You just get the one to suit. Uh, these are really good. They've got M-lock uh, slots on the bottom. You can take these panels off different colours. There's this OD green. Then you can have black. I've seen blue as well. Uh, various different colours. A little bit of adjustability in the stock. Uh, mainly on the cheap piece. You've got a, a stock hook there. So you can pull the rifle into you. Nice soft recoil pad there. I think that is adjustable, or at the very least, you can put spaces in as well. So, real nice. AR-15 style pistol grip, which is really, really cool. So, you can... Obviously, the one that you get is really nice on the Oryx uh, chassis, but you can swap it out for something that you prefer if you want. The magazine release on these Oryx chassis is really nice as well. So... So there's an option, you can throw one in there, one of the 1500s, you can throw in there, not a problem. That's just an example of, of a off the shelf chassis that you can drop that rifle in. If you wanna go real Gucci, in fact, I'm gonna run out of room here. Let's move that one up there. If you wanna go real Gucci, check this out guys. This is how far you can go with the Hauer 1500. Now this one is a little bit of a weighty one, but check that out. I'm not, I think I'm gonna move that. Let's just ooh, pull that over there gently. Check out this one. Okay. So again, same rifle, different caliber. I think this one, this one's 6.5 Creedmoor in an MDT chassis. Look at that thing. This totally transforms this rifle into a serious target gun, uh, PRS style rifle, uh, because you've got like your uh, barricade stop there on the magazine and arc Swiss rail, uh, M-lock configuration, vertical M MDT grip, magazine compatible as well, totally adjustable uh, aluminium stock as well. You can get folders, this one isn't a folder, but I believe you can. Just an awesome bit of kit. An example of what you can basically let's get let's get rid of this uh, stock. Just a good example of what you can turn the standard fifteen hundred into. Okay, so it kind of just gives you an idea of what you can do. Now I'll put a still uh, as you'll see about now of all the different stocks you can get for this rifle um, and chassis as well. There's just so much you can do with it. So my uh, my advice, if you're looking for a, a rifle that you wanna just get like a, you wanna kind of build up yourself, you know, you wanna put, put your own sort of, uh, own bit of magic and use your imagination to sort of build it up. I really can recommend the Hauer, the Hauer 1500 because like, the Remington 700s, you know, how you can dress that up in and configure it however you want. You really, really can with these. And, you know, with the MDT chassis as well, you really can make something special. They really, really are cool. Let's, while I think about it, I'm gonna give both these triggers a pull. Just, just for fun. Um, and let's, let's see what, I'm ill-prepared yet again, guys. This is how we roll here in the rat cave. Totally ill-prepared. But we'll give these triggers a pull. See what they are like. But no, guys, look at that. That thing is just a thing of beauty. It really is nice. And like I say, you just you just start it off with barreled action. And then mm, you can be like, well, do you know what? I'll have, I'll have that chassis in... Uh, FDE, for example, 
Might have a different, might have an AR style grip, might have a vertical grip. You can choose what stock you have. It's really good, really, really all good system. So, right, and let's give these bad boys a pull. Let's give the standard one a pull. Obviously, nothing in there. But this is the two stage hacked trigger. Oof. Three pounds, 15 and a half ounces. That is on the, uh, that's pretty standard uh, 1500 that you can see there. Now let's give this, whether this will be the, it might just be exactly the same. Two stage again. Oof. Not far off. Three pounds, 12.2 ounces. Pretty similar, pretty similar. That trigger actually, that did feel very nice. It's probably exactly the same. Yeah, all right, maybe it's my imagination. But no guys, just a video, just to explain in my sort of layman's rack terms um, of what you can do with these rifles, you know, you can go from that to that, uh, throw on a, a Gucci, um, well, I say that is the Gucci one, pretty much. Um, throw on cheaper chassis. There's loads of wood stocks. There's loads of um, laminate stocks, walnut stocks, form do stocks for them. Um, you can just, as it is said in, uh, I think Highlands, uh, advert you dream it and then you build it so it's it's a real good system and i don't know why more people don't don't sort of opt for this um it's it's just a cool option you know because everyone wants to be a little bit different on the range the howers are very accurate rifles I, like i say i've used them uh, a number of times over the years and i've never had a problem with one real good accuracy and when you can sort of just dress them up how how you want it's a real good real good system but anyway guys that is it really just not so much a review just more of a uh, an overview a closer look at and a bit of an explanation of the the how our rifles uh, only in brief you know you know me guys uh, look at that still earlier on in the video where it shows you all the specs as you can see, I ain't gonna read all that out. Um, but check out Highland Outdoors website. If you just Google um, Howard 1500, for example, it'll bring up uh, Highland Outdoors website here if you're here in the UK or you'll get Howard USA, for example, uh, in the States. Um, just, ch just check them out and see what you can do with these rifles. You, you'll really, uh, you know, you'll really see something that, that'll probably blow your skirt up, but I must admit that does do it for me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stay subbed. And if you're not subbed, what are you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It gives me a bit of motivation. Do you know what I'm saying? A bit of motivation. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That is Rack and Load. See ya.